Edison Chemical Power Meter on this edition of Curator's Corner. Thomas Edison set up his first power station in New York City at Pearl Street. The station began operation on September 4, 1882. In order to keep track of the electricity used by his customers, Edison designed the first electric watt meter, called the chemical meter. It was a crude device based on Michael Faraday's principle of electroplating. Faraday had found out that the transfer of metal from one plate to another in an electrolytic bath was exactly proportional to the current. Edison's first meter held a small glass jar in which two copper plates were suspended in a solution of copper sulfate. The cover of the cell was arranged so that one of the plates was easily removable by means of an insulated clamp with a thumb screw. The other plate, which was thick and cylindrical in form, was intended to remain in the cell to allow copper to be transferred from it to the other plate via electrolysis. An Edison employee would visit the meter periodically, remove the electrode, and weigh it, and the customer would be billed accordingly. While the concept worked well in theory, in practice it was inconvenient and not especially accurate. Even worse, there was no way for a customer to independently confirm their consumption of electricity, so confidence in the device was not high. As a result, the meters were replaced in short order and very few can be found today. The Edison Chemical Power Meter and over 2,000 other artifacts, ranging from 1580 to the early 1950s, are housed within the American Museum of Radio and Electricity located in downtown Bellingham, Washington. For more information about the museum, you can visit amre.us or through the book Where Discovery Sparks Imagination, a pictorial history of radio and electricity written by John D. Jenkins. Tune in next time for another fascinating artifact of history right here on Curator's Corner.